Now I'm getting ready to hand detail the helmet with my secret Sky Gun Bro Trooper Gray for the uh, temple bands. Um, I hand paint everything on with uh, watered down acrylics. Uh, then when I'm done, I take some fine sandpaper and, and sand over all the acrylic that I just hand painted. It gets rid of any brush strokes, high spots. Uh, then once you clear coat over the acrylic, it actually looks like you used a spray can. It's nice and smooth, just like the um, spray can is. It just saves a lot of taping and masking and all that fun stuff. Okay, I've uh, hand painted in all the all the details, the black band, the gray band, uh, the little ear pieces, um, the back piece, the little vent in the back. Uh, now I'll let it dry and I will take some like 400 grit sandpaper, sand it all, get rid of any little brush strokes or little globs of paint that might be poking out and uh, then I'll clear coat everything. And um, after the clear coat dries I'll put the lens uh, in, the screen in the mouth uh, and then the chin piece I still have to make and the little aerators that go inside of here those need to be made still too but uh, it's getting close okay got the uh, chin piece put in place uh, cast it in black resin sanded it so it's uh, got a little kind of grayish look to it but uh, once it's clear coated the clear coat will bring back the black color um, got the aerators in on the sides uh, this one you can see um, I put screening in it. Uh, the aerators I casted actually had screening incorporated into the cast, but the screen detail was real soft. So I actually cut a piece of screening and brush a little super glue in there and then inset it into that. Uh, it gives it a lot better look than the aerators uh, screen detail. Um, so now that I have all the pieces put on finally. Um, I can clear coat the helmet um, and then once it's completely dry I'll put the lens in in the screen in the mouth and it'll be done. There, all clear coated. Uh, nice and shiny. Looks like wet glass. Um, one key to uh, getting a good clear coat, getting it nice and shiny so it looks wet even when it's dry is put on uh, several light coats first and then your last couple coats get a little closer and uh, lay it down a little heavier um, and uh, the key to getting no dead spots in the clear coat is to try to wet the helmet down uh, all at the same time meaning moving it and uh, wetting it and trying to get it so the clear coat is wet over the whole helmet at the same time and then it kind of dries at the same rate uh, so you don't get any like uh, dead spots in the finish um, because uh, a lot of times overspray uh, with clear coat will uh, cause uh, dead spots I'm gonna dull this down a little bit anyway because I guess technically clones aren't supposed to be real super shiny um, but I'm gonna do a little bit of weathering to it as well